John Wayne was one of the biggest names in Hollywood during the 1950s and 60s. The legendary Western actor was in 179 productions over the course of his career and was chosen as one of the greatest male stars by the American Film Institute in 1999. But despite his massive success in both the acting world and in American culture, Wayne wasn't a man without regrets. Did you know he was married three times in total? With each successive marriage, Wayne went through tumultuous times. And at the same time, Wayne thought of family as being one of the most important things in life. But despite his love of family, there was one marriage he regretted the most. Join Facts First as we take a look at the stupidest thing John Wayne ever did in his life. John Wayne was born as Marion Robert Morrison in 1907. He was born in Iowa, but his family soon moved to California. They lived in the Glendale area, and he went to Glendale Union High School, where he was a star athlete. He shined on the football field and in the classroom as well. When Wayne would walk around his neighborhood, he would always have his large dog, Duke, with him. A local fireman saw Wayne daily as his dog walked by the station. So he began calling the boy Little Duke since the dog was larger than the boy was. Wayne liked the name Duke much more than Marion, so he adopted it as a nickname. After being rejected by the Naval Academy, he went to USC, where he was a pre-law major and a player on the Trojan football team. However, he broke his collarbone in a body surfing accident. Sadly, this injury meant the school stopped his scholarship, so Wayne was forced to drop out. John's First Wife When John was 19, he went on a date with a girl named Carmen Saints. While the date reportedly went fine, it had a surprising twist ending. Wayne met Carmen's sister Josephine at some point in the evening and realized he was more interested in her. So he began dating Josephine instead. They were considered an odd match at the time because he was 19 and was from a family with not a lot of money, whereas she was only 16 and came from family money. But they didn't let that stop them. They got married June 24, 1933. The marriage lasted around seven years without too many issues, but in 1940, things changed. Josephine discovered John was having an affair with actress Marlene Dietrich. He was filming a movie with Dietrich at the time, and the two had begun a relationship while on set. Josephine was heartbroken, yet wanted to give the marriage a second chance. She sought out counseling from a priest she knew, and he was able to provide some initial help. But this turned out not enough, as the couple eventually separated and got a divorce. John's Second Wife John and Josephine's divorce was finalized December 26, 1945, and if John was upset about the divorce, he certainly had a hard time showing it, because he married another woman in less than a month. After meeting and falling for a woman named Esperanza Bauer, John married her three weeks after this divorce was finalized. Esperanza went by the nickname Chata, and Wayne and Chata got married at the Unity Presbyterian Church of Long Beach. This was notable because it's the same church where Wayne's mother got remarried. Ward Bond, a fellow actor, served as John's best man. Despite the fact that it was a quick turnaround, Wayne was excited to have fallen in love again, at least at first. Things get worse. Things between John and Chata went sour pretty steadily. After going on a honeymoon, the pair returned to LA and bought a house in Van Nuys. On Chata's insistence, they set up an extra bedroom for her mother to live in. This immediately caused a rift in John and Chata's relationship. Chata shared with John she had an interest in joining him in the acting business. She wanted to start auditioning and hoped John would help her career. But John had other ideas. He preferred that she did not have a career at all, and instead stay at home and be a homemaker. In this era, women didn't have as many options for career paths, so Chata was forced to stay at home per John's wishes. As such, she grew resentful and developed a drinking problem. Before we tell you more, be sure to give this video a like and subscribe to Factsverse if you haven't already. The Stupidest Damn Thing Reportedly, Wayne grew more and more frustrated with the situation and confided to Ward Bond he was sick of Chata's mother not only living with them, but constantly speaking only Spanish with Chata. He said that not only that, Chata and her mom would commonly take up their marital bed, forcing John to sleep on a living room couch. Wayne also didn't like the way Chata refused to keep up her physical appearance once they got married. He was someone who made sure to look his best. Chata didn't share this attribute. Instead, she often didn't bathe and refused to shave her legs. She also wouldn't take steps to remove her facial hair, giving her the look of a bit of a mustache. These types of hygiene and grooming choices enraged Wayne. 
The two began arguing more and more. For her part, Chata was concerned that Wayne was exhibiting his behavior from his first marriage and cheating on her with one of his co-stars while on set. She became so convinced this was the case that one night when John arrived home late and had clearly been drinking, Chata greeted him at the door with a gun to the face and almost took a shot. As their marriage grew apart, John sank deeper into his work so as to avoid contact with his wife. At one point, Wayne likened their marriage to a science experiment gone wrong. He likened them to volatile chemicals being combined in a jar. Later on, Wayne commented that marrying Chata was the stupidest damn thing he'd ever done in his life. The two finally got divorced in 1954. Chata told her side of the story to the media after the divorce, referring to Wayne as abusive and addicted to alcohol. Wayne denied these accusations. Sadly, Chata didn't live too much longer after the divorce, passing away in 1961 from a heart attack. John's Third Wife the trials and tribulations of his marriages to both Josephine and Chata were not enough to discourage John from the institution itself. Just as he'd done before, Wayne wasted no time after his second divorce before falling in love with and marrying yet another woman. John met Pilar Paulette and married her in late 1954. Reportedly, their marriage was a happy one to begin with and didn't suffer from the relatively immediate tumult that his first two marriages had. John was diagnosed with late-stage lung cancer in 1964. He had to have his left lung removed as well as four of his ribs. This illness no doubt put a strain on their marriage, though they managed to stick it out through his illness and subsequent recovery. But by the time the 1970s rolled around, the two were having issues. As he'd done with Chata, John reacted by devoting more and more time to his work and being on set rather than being home with his family. By 1973, the pair was officially separated. John's Affairs as we've noted, John was far from a faithful husband. He had a tendency to hook up with co-stars on his films. He even reportedly had a long-standing relationship with his own secretary, Pat Stacy. In a book from 2014 called John Wayne, The Life and Legend, it was alleged he had perhaps his longest affair with legendary actress Maureen O'Hara. The two were known to at least be good friends for a number of decades. They starred together in The Quiet Man as well as two other films. And while O'Hara has always denied the two were ever more than friends, it's alleged this isn't true. Reportedly, they had a long-standing romance that was somewhat casual. But in the book, author Scott Iman wrote that according to one of John Wayne's closest friends, Wayne would consistently cheat on Pilar with O'Hara, even meeting up consistently at a ranch Wayne owned in Arizona. Now it's time to hear from you. What's your favorite memory of John Wayne? Let us know in the comments section below. And before you go, make sure you give this video a like and subscribe to Facts First if you haven't already. Click the bell icon to stay updated on all our latest content.